Okay, so this is a brief overview of my OBJ sequence player for VRChat, or OBJ sequencer, name pending. This is just a, a tool that allows you to use OBJ sequences from, say, Blender or the likes, and play them through Unity in VRChat. Now, for those who don't know, OBJ sequences are a series of OBJ files that you export, and together they make an animation. Basically, here's a, a folder of 100 different states of a meta ball that if I just hold right, you'll you'll see them uh, slowly change throughout and make kind of an animation for it. Now, basically, we needed a way to play that in VR chat, and this was actually requested by Shaggy Mummy, one of my friends, and this is just a, a quick tool that allows you to do that. Uh, here you select your frame rate of how fast you want to play it at, whether or not you want it to loop, and in here you just put all the, the different meshes in here. Don't worry, you don't have to individually drag everyone in. You can just lock the inspector, go to your folder where you have all the different files, and just drag them into the spot for the array. There, there's no need to do that individually. Uh, but yeah, you can play, pause, stop, and reset it. These are all things that you can call from an event in, in VRChat, so you don't have to rely on these buttons here. But if I hit play, you'll, you'll see how this is able to work. All right, so if I hit play, you'll see it starts animating and going through the, th uh, going through the motions. It's just swapping out the mesh for the one that's in the allotted slot here. I have a bunch of time stuff set up so it can account for whether or not you have a low or high frame rate and it will still play it correctly. You can set the frame rate in here to like 120 and it just plays twice as fast. Basically it's whatever frame rate you exported at, whether it was like 30 or 60 typically. But yeah, I just leave it on 60 by default. You can pause it, you can resume. You can reset its state so it just goes back to zero or you can just hit stop and that brings it back to a halt. So yeah, I'll have this up on the VRC Prefabs database later today and I hope you enjoy it.